it's Vicky. I'm back. Again. <laughs>
but yeah no overall I am good absolutely nothing negative in my life which is really like a really nice feeling to have to know that there's nothing bad going on in your life at the moment um but work is going absolutely incredible there's some questions about work in here actually work is going absolutely incredible um yeah my friends are incredible my family's incredible I've been going out drinking a lot which I've given myself a month off and after my surgery I can't go out drinking anyway because I'm gonna be all like battered and bruised in the face um which is quite good to be fair it means I can give myself a bit of a break but um yeah thank you for asking I feel incredible like so so good so another I can't keep saying another question I got a lot all these questions I got a lot the third question is what's new with work so there's some stuff that like obviously I can't talk about I, I know when influencers say that like oh I can't talk about it right now it makes you actually want to like scream at them I understand that I'm so so sorry it's such like an influencer thing to say um <laughs> But yeah, so really exciting things are coming up. I started working with some amazing brands. Um, all these new, I've filmed some really cool YouTube videos, which I'm really excited for you guys to see. Um, yeah, so work stuff is great. I obviously have plans for work and things that I want to achieve and do, but I'm not gonna, I feel like if you tell people your goals in life and like what you want from life, it doesn't come true, like a wish. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's things that I'm like working towards achieving and things that are in my mindset and in my vision that I really, really want, but I'm not gonna tell you them. And if I achieve them, you will know. Um, but yeah, so work overall, again, is great. This is just me going, yeah, everything's great, guys. <laughs> End of video. Um, but no, work's, work's going really, really well. Are you enjoying the gym? Yes, so obviously this was put on my Instagram story, so you guys can see that I am going to the gym quite a lot now. I've joined the gym with my mum, which I really, really love, because um, she goes so much, she has a personal trainer. So I was like, right, whenever you go, I'm gonna go. And she goes like five times a week. <laughs> so I've just been going with her and I'm really, really getting into it. Like, I'm learning, I'm learning uh, what reps are. <laughs> no, reps, I'm learning how to do sets. So like sets of 10, three sets of 10 or 15, something like that. Learning what kind of weights I can do. I've actually started adding on weights to the ones I started with, which is really cool feeling. Um, I'm not a gym, like I never thought I was a gym person. I never really enjoyed it. I enjoyed running. I've always enjoyed doing cardio. Why do I say like that, cardio? Cardio. <laughs> um, I've always, I give up with talking. I've always enjoyed doing cardio, there we go. Um, but I never thought I'd get into weights or classes or we did this one called boot camp. Oh my goodness. I literally, I felt like I'd been beaten up. Like it was only half an hour long and I was just lying there like, right, okay, I'm glad this is over. Um, but yeah, so the gym, I'm absolutely loving it. Once I'm healed from my surgery, I'm gonna be back at it. Oh, absolutely love it though, really love it. And I'm getting a personal trainer, like the same one that my mum's got, I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna hire that one. So I'm really, really enjoying it and I'm enjoying learning like about fitness and what works for my body. So I've learned I can't do arms. Like I cannot at all. It's really, really painful for me um, because of my boob job. So I'm learning stuff like that. And like, I can do the one where you put, you know, with the string and the two little things there that you pull it down. Don't know what it's called. Um, I've learned I can do them for arms, but nothing else. So it's just things like that that are really, really interesting. And you know, I am noticing a difference and it's just, it makes you feel really, really good about yourself. So, but anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on about the gym. I could talk about that forever just because I'm new to it and I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, loving the gym. Another question is, are you moving out? So, not anytime soon. <laughs> I'm afraid that my parents are stuck with me for a good year or so. But I, so as soon as I moved home, I was like, I'm gonna rent, it'll be fine. I'll just like, I'll still live um, in Leicester because I'm back home with my parents in Leicester, which by the way, I'm absolutely loving. Like I love being in, this is my childhood room that I'm in right now. I've decorated it, it looks completely different. Um, so I am loving being home, but I was like, no, I'm gonna rent, it's fine. And then my dad said to me, he went, well, you're 22, why would you rent? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, why don't you just buy a house? And obviously it's not as easy as just buying a house. I do have to save, which is gonna take me a very long time. But yeah, which means I'm staying home with my parents, um, which is completely fine with me. All my friends live around here, back with my sister, with my brother, with my cats. <laughs> um, so it's completely fine being back here, but no, I'm not moving out anytime soon because I'm saving for a mortgage. I know exactly what kind of house I want. Should I say it? 
yeah it's not gonna jinx it is it i really really want a new build i think they're gorgeous i want to live on a new build estate like where it looks like little um doll houses or like how you know like the houses out of um cat in the hat how they're all just like really clean looking that's how i feel new builds are so yeah i just want a little starter home little um two two three bed new build just for me a uh, little garden i really want a dog as well so yeah that's what i'm saving towards instead of renting i'm going to save towards that and then one day when it is mine it's going to be so worth it like waiting all this time will be so worth it and yeah it means i'll have a house another question i got a lot which i think i'm always going to end up getting until it happens is can you drive yet <laughs> short answer no long answer no no i can't drive yet um did you just see my foot that's really gross <laughs> um yeah no i can't drive yet okay next question i actually have a test booked which i'm not gonna say so every time i've said the date i failed so i failed four times if you don't know so i'm not gonna say when my test is just because i feel like that's the reason i'm failing not because of my own actions it's because i'm telling people the date <laughs> um but yeah so i've got a test booked for this year um and yeah let's just hope i pass fifth time lucky is what the people say i will have a car and i'll be driving eventually <laughs> i can't remember what question we're on <laughs> um i don't know what number but the next question that i get a lot is are you dating Ooh, you guys wanted to know the juicy gossip how do you even answer this one i'm not like dating to like be in a relationship because i'd literally like i'd rather stick my head in a bucket of sand but the way that I'm dating is like getting to know people, seeing what's out there, like meeting new new boys and seeing what they're like and, you know, just like, I don't know, just getting to know people and it's been really, really fun and, you know, I've been, I've been honest saying, look, I don't want a boyfriend, like, if you still want to go on a date, that's fine, they've been like, yeah, sure, because um, literally, pff, no thank you. Oh, I've met some beautiful people, like, I've met some amazing boys and I keep saying boys, men. <laughs> like they're not young i promise you they are 22 plus um one of them was 30. i'm dating but it's more for like fun and to get to know people not to be in a relationship this question i really really liked it was how has your mindset changed and it's quite a broad question um so i'm going to answer it quite broadly completely like <laughs> My mindset has changed so so much yeah in the past few months like i've got rid of friends i've got rid of bad people in my life i've really really came to terms with things that have happened to me and you know and forgave i've just forgiven everything and the only way you can let go of things is to forgive and let go so you know friends who have fucked me over or people in my life that weren't good for me i forgive you but don't come anywhere near me. That ha is my mindset at the moment. And people who are good to me have my whole heart and I have open arms for them. Why am I doing this a lot with my hand? Um, yeah, no, people who are good to me and who treat me well, they're in my life for a reason because they're beautiful to me and I love them. And the people I've got rid of, I forgive you, but I just don't want you anymore and I don't need you in my life. Um, and that's my mindset. And if, you know, if someone comes into my life and ends up hurting me, I forgive you but goodbye you know because otherwise you're holding on to anger and that's just not what you need um so yeah my mindset I, I just feel stronger like i feel so so strong and i thought i was strong before that was nothing compared to now and yeah so just feeling really really i could do a whole video on my mindset and the way that i'm thinking and feeling but i don't think that'd be very interesting for you guys um but yeah I feel 100%. I feel so good, so powerful. Nobody can touch me. Like, <laughs> that's how I feel. Oh, this is a spicy one. Any TV shows? Um, maybe <laughs> is the answer I can give. Um, a few are in the talks. Um, I did TV shows before, when I was single before, because obviously TV shows, you do have to be single for them. Like, all the ones now, you do. It's annoying, but you do um so now that i'm single again i've had loads of people reach out to me and i'm just considering which ones i want to do um yeah so again this is like i said to work stuff it's stuff that i can't really really talk about um again annoying influencer thing to say can't really talk about it but things are in the talks and it's very exciting hey okay, second to last question is how is your boob job again i 
quite a broad question, like how is it? It's great. Um, but I think they mean like how is it healed and everything. Completely fine. Like they're just normal to me now. It's like I always had them. I can't picture myself before it now. And yeah, people even in my life forget that I've had it done. Like they just forget that they're like, they weren't mine a few months ago. <laughs> but no, I've had them for seven months now. The scar's healing really well. Obviously you can still see it. You can still see the scar. It doesn't go for years. Um, but no, the scar's healing really, really well. I still, I have almost all the feeling back in them. Um, which I'm having a checkup for just to see if that's like all going okay. But yeah, I forget that I weren't born with them. <laughs> I always forget that they like weren't originally mine, but now they are, because I just feel like I've had them forever. And the final question is, this one made me laugh, because um, I got asked it like 10, 15 times. I was like, what the hell is, are you ever gonna go back blonde? No. <laughs> No, I'm blubbing not. This looks great, okay? This is me. I've got dark features, so I need my dark hair. Um, yeah, so, no, sorry. Blonde Vicky will not be making a return. <laughs> but guys, I've been speaking for like half an hour. My throat hurts. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you're glad that I'm back and there's loads of videos coming your way. And I hope this answered any questions you have. Any other questions you have, please do comment down below. I'll be reading all my comments and I'll give you a reply. Um, and yeah, so my, all my socials, my Instagram, my TikTok, that's all I have. <laughs> my Instagram and TikTok will be linked down below. So please come over and say hi over there. Um, and yeah, I had so much fun filming this. It feels so good to be back. And yeah, please thumbs up the video, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. My next video is talking all about what is happening with my nose, which is obviously a thing that everyone wants to hear about. Um, but yeah, thanks guys.